Hello everyone. Um, while I was looking at various news articles on the internet, um, I came across this particular article. I'll link it into the sidebar. I uh, really felt I had to say something about it. Basically, there's a 13-year-old boy in America. He was recently diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a type of cancer. He went to one round of um, chemotherapy, just, just the once, to try and shrink the tumour. Um, at which point, the parents decided they wanted to go to go, th go through the um, alternative medicines route based on their religious beliefs. So a judge has now stepped in and said basically you have to, you have to take the kid to chemotherapy uh, and if you don't then he's going to be taken into temporary custody. I think a lot of people will probably think that I'm quite hard on religion and um, I mean I could give you a thousand reasons why but this is a prime reason for why I think religion can and is dangerous. When you get nut jobs like this who take their faith to such an insane degree, they lose all concept of reality and basically believe anything that their stupid beliefs say. Now I know everyone won't agree with this, but I think if a child's life is at stake then um, and the parent says okay we're not gonna we're not gonna um, give the kid the medicine that, that we know that, that actually intelligent people know works then they, they should be forced to. I mean, no, no ifs, ands, or, or buts about it. Um, I don't think a kid can understand really the literal life or death uh, questions and situation that he finds himself in. Um, as I said, not many people might many people uh, might not agree with me, but that, that's that's how I feel. Even in the article, it says that the kid uh, hardly knows what's going on. He, he has no idea how, how ill he is. And this is just how much in the dark that they've kept kept their child. I mean, it's bordering on child abuse here. Um, I mean, if, if you're an adult um, th and you don't want to take any medicine based on whatever beliefs you you currently have, um, then that's fine, but um, and that, that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, that just means the population loses one one idiot, you know, not, not a kid being brainwashed throughout his whole life to believe something is true when it's not. Um, as I said, believe, believe what you want. Um, does not does not bother me one iota, but when a child's life, your child's life, is in is in danger, real literal danger of being of of being killed, um, wouldn't you want to do whatever it took to make sure that they survived? Um, if you look in the article, it says that uh, with chemotherapy, his survival rate would be around nine percent, and without it, it would probably be about five percent. I mean, and they know that. Um, it was having an effect uh, the one time they went to chemotherapy because the tumor was actually sh actually shrank after the first bout of chemotherapy and now it's now it's just starting to to grow again so they know it, it can do something yet you've got these fucking nut job religious parents who who, who are just gonna give them fucking eat twigs and drink wheatgrass juice you know um i mean there, there was a time when alternative medicine was popular and it worked but then we took all the best bits and it just became medicine. I mean, do people not understand this? I mean, I know. Okay, I know medicine. Um, Western medicine isn't perfect, but it's. I said it's a damn sight better than fucking eating twigs and praying. You know. I remember. Uh, this seems to be um, happening a lot more in the past few recent years. I've noticed. Um, I remember in Britain there was um, a Jehovah's uh, Witness mother who gave birth to twins. And she died afterwards because they she wouldn't allow them to give her blood. Um, and now I'm sure when the twins are growing up without their mum, they, they're going to think, "Wow, I, I, I'm so glad that she didn't take blood because that I would just wouldn't wouldn't be able to talk to her or or even relate to her at all." I mean, no, it's it's completely fucking stupid. Your child, your your twins are going to grow up grow up without a mother just because you don't want to take blood, you know? Um, ugh. Don't get me started. Anyway, um, as I was um, as I was going to talk about, um, medicine has actual evidence that it works. I know a lot of religious people have a problem with actual evidence, but there we go. Um, there have been tons of clinical trials, even to get it onto the market, um, and yet they still think their retarded beliefs are, are going to save them, um, regardless of you know lack of evidence for them. Um, and it's just like all the other people that shun Western medicine and just pray, right? Oh no, that's that's wrong. That's wrong because that's right. They're all dead, you know. 
can they can they not see some some sort of pattern here? Um, how people can cling on to these antiquated beliefs uh, in the 21st century is beyond me. Um, anyway, that's just my opinion. I may be wrong. Check out the article for yourself and maybe comment or post a video response telling me what you think. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm rambling. Bye.